Hello, in this video we're going to be implementing the splash scene. So the splash scene, until now we've just got a essentially a bare bones scene and we need to actually add an image that appears initially. We need to, after a few seconds, make it switch to a particular scene which will for us be the main menu scene. To do this, very simple, if you go to the header file we need to create a private method, which is going to be private. And this is going to be void switch to main menu. If you can guess what this is going to do, float DT. And DT stands for delta time. This is just going to be used for the scheduling of this method because it's going to be run after X amount of seconds have passed and we'll be able to determine how many seconds we want so you can easily change if you want it to be if you want the splash scene to appear longer or for less time you can easily do that so save that go to the cpp file and in the cpp file we need to include a file called include definitions dot h Actually, now I'm going to name it definition, just all lowercase. So definitions.h. And we need to create the file now. So if you just add it as you normally would to your text data or ID, very simple stuff. And this is going to be called, I need to add it to the targets. Can't forget to do that. It needs to be definitions. And in here, what we are essentially going to put is the background file path and how long we want the splash scene to show and a transition time as well because we're going to use a built-in cocos transition so if we get rid of this put hash pragma once and you do hash define splash underscore scene underscore background underscore file path and this essentially will be this path right here so it will be res forward slash and we want the splash background so splash background dot png we need to do hash defines for how long we want the splash scene to show. So it's gonna be splash underscore scene underscore show underscore time. And for this, I'm going to put 2.0 seconds, so 2.0. And now we need a define for the scene transition time. So for this, I'll put 0 0.2. We can modify these accordingly. So if we go to our splash scene.cpp in here what we want to do is just scroll down inside the init method after we've signed into game center we're going to use the cocos helper which is fantastic because we don't actually have to create sprites or we're still going to be using sprites in different scenes but for stuff like background which is centered and it's always static we can easily use the cocos helper built-in methods to position it really really easy easily you just do sonar cocos helper ui colon colon add centered background and you first specify the background file path so for that will be splash underscore scheme underscore background file path and then you specify the layer which is what you want to add it to and when you specify something like that in some sort of drawing method you just put this now we want to do schedule once we're going to schedule that switch to main menu method only once because we'll be on the splash scene and then we won't be so we only need to call it once we need to do schedule underscore selector and inside here you put the class name which is the current class that we're in colon colon switch to main menu we're not passing in any parameters because that's all handled by the schedule once put a comma and then the splash time or how long we want it to show for because this method is going to be called after x amount of seconds so this is essentially how long we want it to show for and now we need to implement the switch to main menu method 
to do that, very, very simple. You just put void, splash, scene, switch to main menu, float dt, and in here, we're gonna put scene. So we need to create an instance of the scene that we wanna switch to, which is, I think you've guessed it, the main menu scene, which we actually need to include up top here. So if I do hash, include main menu scene, scroll down, and you just put main menu scene, colon, colon, create scene, and now we, we're going to create a transition that we're going to use for switching between the scenes. And it, we're going to be using the transition fade. There are a whole heap of transitions. If you check out our COCOS API, API guide, there will be a link available to that. We have all of the different transitions listed on there, along with images and videos to show you what they essentially do and all the code that you need to implement it. So we're gonna call it transition, very creative as you can tell, equal to transition, fade, colon, colon, create. And there's only one parameter that it actually, I mean, two parameters that it takes technically. We're not gonna be using the color value. We're gonna be using scene, which is the scene that we wanna to switch to, and the amount of time we want the transition to last, and this is gonna be scene, transition time, the last line of code that we need to call is director colon colon get instance so we're getting an instance of the director because there's, there's only one instance ever that exists in cocos 2dx and we're going to replace scene which essentially gets rid of the current scene with another scene so it pops off this scene and pushes on another scene onto the stack transition transition fade transition what we created transition right here press semicolon we are now ready to run this awesome application so if we run it it's just building it linking it and hopefully it's all going to be successful you, you're always in this sort of moment where it's like is it going to work or not it's going to deploy it now we have our splash scene which says sonar games which is just our sonar games division logo and as you can see after x amount of seconds it went to this particular scene so it's that simple once we've added some images and some buttons onto the main menu it will look a lot better and we'll be doing that in the next video if you have any questions feel free to post them on my education platform sonarlearning.co.uk and if you want to check out the source code, feel free. There will be a GitHub link available. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.